A big thank you to all my students and the students of the state as well for showing your support by subscribing and keep subscribing and keep showing me your support. Hello dear students and welcome back to English with Professor Tabassum. In today's video, I am going to share with you the most important questions for Commerce Intermediate First Year. Let us discuss the most important long answers for Commerce. First one is from Chapter 3 that is Sole Proprietorship, Joint Hindu Family Business and Cooperative Societies. So we have four questions. First one, define sole proprietorship and state its features. Second one, write the advantages and disadvantages of sole proprietorship. Third one, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of cooperative societies. Last one, define the cooperative society, explain its features. Next is from chapter 4, partnership firm. We have three important questions from this. First one, define partnership, discuss its advantages and disadvantages. Second one, discuss different types of partners. Third one, what are the features of limited liability partnership? Chapter 5, Joint Stock Company. We have two important questions from this. Define joint stock company. Explain the features of a joint stock company. Second one, differentiate between a private company and a public company. Chapter 7, Commencement of Business. Only one question is important from this. What is Memorandum of Association? Explain its clauses. Chapter 8, Business Finance. What is business finance? Explain its need and significance in the business organization. What are the various factors that determine the selection of source of finance? Now let us see the short answers for commerce exam chapter wise. Chapter 1, introduction to business. Define business, explain its characteristic features. What are the economic activities? Chapter 2, business activities. Define trade and explain various types of aids to trade. Define trade and explain various type of trade. What is commerce? Describe its branches. What is meant by industry? Explain various types of industries with suitable examples. State the types of foreign trade. Chapter 3. Sole proprietorship, joint Hindu family business and cooperative societies. Explain the features of sole proprietorship. What are the features of cooperative societies? Discuss any five advantage of sole proprietorship. What are the limitations of sole trader? Chapter 4. Explain partnership firm. Define partnership. State its important features. Discuss any five types of partners. Chapter 5. Joint Stock Company. Explain any five advantages of a joint stock company. Write any five features of joint stock company. Chapter 6. Formation of a company. What are the functions of a promoter? What are the documents to be filled along with application for co co incorporation? Chapter 9. Sources of business finance. What are the sources of short term finance? Differentiate between equity shares and preference shares. Differentiate between a share and a debenture. Chapter 10. Micro, small and medium enterprises. Briefly explain the registration process of MSMES. Discuss the privileges offered to MSMES in India. Explain the promotional measures initiated for strengthening MSMES in India. Explain any five problems faced by Indian MSME sector in detail. Define MSME. Explain their significance. Define manufacturing enterprises as per MSMEs Act 2006. Chapter 11. Multinational Corporations. Define multinational corporations and explain any four features of MNCs. Chapter 12. E-Business. What are the benefits of e-business to customers? What are the four benefits of e-business? Let us discuss the very short questions for commerce exam. First one. Chapter 1. Introduction to business. You have to explain these in uh, very short uh, answers. First one is business, second one profession and third one is employment. Chapter 2 business activities, you have to explain the terms commerce, foreign trade, entry port trade, what is transportation, what is home trade, what are the warehouses. Chapter 3 sole proprietorship, joint into family, business and cooperative societies. Define sole proprietorship, define uh, daya bhaga, what is business organization. Chapter 4 partnership firm, what do you mean by active partner. Chapter 5 joint stock company, what is a government company, what is a person company. Chapter 6, Formation of a Company, Who is a Promoter, What is Capital Subscription? Chapter 7, Commencement of Business, What is Minimum Subscription? What is Certificate of Commencement of Business? Memorandum of Association. Chapter 8, Business Finance, Business Finance and Working Capital you have to describe. Okay. Chapter 9, Sources of Business Finance, you have to explain retained earnings and what is the long term finance. Chapter 10, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Micro Enterprise, What is Service Enterprise? Chapter 12, e-business, explain the terms e-banking, e-trading, e-marketing and e-business. 